Hi to all the beautiful hearts in the world. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. A very pleasant morning to all of you. Now I am going to Lord Sri Venkateshwar Swami Temple. It's in Vanasthalpuram. Come along with me. I will show you the temple. Those who are watching my video for the first time, let me introduce myself once again. I am Rupa from the city of the pearls, Hyderabad. I am travelling by bus only. This is on Saturday. My brother's family will meet me in the temple itself. Both my niece and nephew schools are closed due to continuous rains. Our government Telangana declared three days holidays to schools. This is Sri Venkateswar Swami Kalyana Mandapam. Here is the entrance of the temple. Let's go inside and have darshan of Lord Sri Venkateswar Swami. My nephew Cherry. My elder niece, I call her Strawberry. She is my youngest niece. Shri Goda Devi Temple. Here is Shri Mahalakshmi Temple. This is back side of the temple. You can see big trees like Shri Kadamba, Shri Vepa, or Neem, Shri Maredu, Shri Parijata, Shri Ravi. Here is Shri Kadamba is said to represent Shatabisha Nakshatra. In Bhagavata Purana, Shri Kadamba is mentioned that in North India it is associated with Lord Shri Krishna, while in the South it is known as Shri Parvati's tree. We are glad that with us you also had one Pradakshina round the temple. Let's go little further. Here is Goshala in the temple for God and Goddesses. Mahaharati in the afternoon time that is Madhyanaharati and Naivedya is being offered. Hope you all might have felt the temple vibes. This is Agnishala. This is a big hall. All rituals will be performed during the special days and festivals. And also on every Saturday, Mahaprasad is distributed. Here is Peepal Tree, the other side of the temple. And we all are having Mahaprasad. After having Prasad, little photo shoot. We are going to nursery to buy some flowering plants. The weather has become pleasant. The fresh air, the beautiful flowers, which are too fresh. You can imagine the climate over there. I guess you can hear the water sound also. 
Can anyone know the name of this flowering plant? Please let us know. See my beautiful face. Behind the camera is Nishika. No neck at all. There are so many colorful roses and also fruit plants. I will try to give the location in the description. You can check in. What all we have purchased that will be in the next coming vlog. You can watch that vlog also. The name of this nursery is Shri Shirdi Sai Nursery, Sai Nagar, Anastalapuram. Behind the camera is my brother now. You can see my youngest niece chirping like a bird. She was running like anything after her brother and she has fallen down she cried a lot please stay tuned and please consider subscribe and like thank you for being in rupa kin vlogs after visiting this nursery we have gone to other nursery that also we will share in that coming vlog before going to the temple only i have cooked bengal gram and cauliflower mixed masala curry for instant soaking i have poured hot boiling water into the washed bengal gram with this cauliflower i have taken half for the curry and half for the pickle added all the cauliflower florets into the hot water leave it for 2 to 3 minutes and switch off the flame as it is raining outside the florets i have taken half of the portion and let it dry naturally as it is raining outside house flies will come that's why i'm covering with the cotton cloth for curry i have discarded the brown color of the fresh coconut I have ground it into the paste. In an utensil, put oil, little nigella seeds, little cumin, mustard, green chilli, onions, till curry leaves, and also the allspice leaf. Discarded the stem portion so that the leaf releases its flavor. Put little turmeric. Stir well. In the starting, I also added one clove and one. cinnamon stick added one spoon of ginger garlic paste stir well adding florets mix well now added boiled bengal gram added one tablespoon of salt mix well close the lid so that all the spices will infuse into the dal and florets now adding 1 tablespoon of red chili powder mix well little later open the lid and add boiled 
leftover water while cooking the bengal gram added coconut paste added half tablespoon of kitchen king masala keep the flame at low open the lid and let's check Now discarding the leaf add a leaf instead of all spice leaf added homemade garam masala let it cook for 2 more minutes and leave it switch off the flame here for plating i have taken sliced onions which are cut vertically i'm adding salt and little black salt and chaat masala and little few lemon drops in this curry we always add little poppy seeds paste i was in hurry so i have not included in the night for dinner i have reheated the curry and i have plated Next is the pickle preparation. I am seasoning for the pickle. I have taken three ladles of oil, approximately 70 ml. Added mustard, cumin, little Bengal gram, dry red chilli, curry leaves, and slated garlic. Three times puff acetophilia. Keep the kadai aside. Here cauliflower florets. I am deep frying. as here we are having continuous rains the pickle may get spoiled that's why i'm deep frying if the florets are sun dried then the pickle will be more tastier the florets will be crispier i meant is the florets will be crunchier to the florets added red chili powder mustard with fenugreek powder Also add salt 1 tablespoon or as per your taste you can reduce or increase all the ingredients that's the advantage in instant pickles before mixing the seasoning check whether it is normal temperature it shouldn't be hot added raw garlic 4 to 5 which are slitted that is completely optional because we are used to that flavor i have added adding remaining oil which we have deep fried the florets this pickle we have completed within 3 days as i have used only half of the cauliflower lastly i have added lemon juice mix well and take it into a glass jar this pickle when preserved in an airtight container it will stay up to 15 days can stay longer also we never tried putting in the fridge 